All praise is due to Allah and may Allah raise the rank of our Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and protect his nation from that which he fears for them. Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, in our lesson today we are going to discuss a very important matter. The creed of the people of the truth, Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, is that the slave is a creation of Allah and the doings of the slave are also creations of Allah. The slave does not create anything. Allah is the one who creates the doings of the slave and the slave only acquires his acts. So if a person picks a stone from the ground, throws it at a piece of glass and breaks the glass, then breaking the glass by throwing the stone, which is the action of the slave, and the breaking of the glass, which occurs in the glass, are both created by Allah. Moreover, the slave's intention to throw that stone at the glass, the hand by which he threw the stone, the action of throwing, and the stone he threw, are all created by Allah. All that happens is a creation of Allah. Even one's intentions, desires, inclinations, thoughts, and any changes in them are created by Allah. As related by Al-Bayhaqi and others, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, إِنَّ قُلُوبَ الْعِبَادِ بَيْنَ إِصْبَعَيْنِ مِنْ أَصَابِعِ الرَّحْمَانِ يُقَلِّبُهَا كَيْفَ يَشَاءُ It means the hearts of the slaves are under the control of Allah. Allah turns them the way He willed. Hence, the one who deviates from this belief and claims that the slaves create their own voluntary actions is belying the Qur'an and the Hadith. This is why the top scholars hold the consensus that such a person is a non-believer. However, saying that Allah is the creator of everything, including the intentions of the slave, does not mean that the slave does not have a choice. The slave has a choice, however his choice is under the will of Allah. His choice does not reach to an extent that he creates his own actions. Rather, his own choice is a creation of Allah and is under the will of Allah. The scholars of Islam said, The slave acquires his act, means that he directs his will and intention towards doing a particular deed. Then Allah creates that deed. Although the directing of the will and the doing of the deed are created by Allah, still the slave is doing the directing and the deed. Therefore, he acquires his act. Hence, if someone runs intentionally, the fact that his intention and his running movements are created by Allah does not negate that he is the one running intentionally and thus he is accountable for his running. The scholars of Islam said that the will of Allah is the attribute by which Allah specifies the intellectual possibilities, the creations with their attributes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is attributed with Al-Kalam. Al-Kalam of Allah is without a beginning like all of his other attributes because he, the exalted, is unlike all the creations in the self, attributes and actions. The speech Kalam of Allah, which is the attribute of his self, is eternal, that is, has no beginning, just like all the other attributes of Allah. It does not have a beginning or an ending. It is not letters which occur sequentially. The speech of Allah is not similar to the speech of the creations. The eternal speech kalam of Allah is called the Qur'an. The term the Qur'an can also refer to the terms revealed to Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and included in the book of the Qur'an. These Arabic terms are created because these terms are expressions 
referring to the eternal kalam of Allah. They are also the Qur'an, even though, beyond doubt, these terms are created. To make it more clear, if someone wrote the word Allah on a chalkboard and was asked what it was he wrote, he would answer Allah. His response does not mean those letters he wrote, that is, the A, the L, the L, and the A, and the H, are the self whom we worship. Rather, he means that this term is an expression referring to the self whom we worship, who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the self who does not resemble anything. Likewise, the terms revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam are expressions of the speech of Allah, the attribute of his self. Both the attribute of the self of Allah and the revealed expressions are referred to as the speech of Allah, Kalamullah, and both are referred to as the Qur'an. It is not permissible for one to believe that the speech of Allah, which is the attribute of his self, the speech which Prophet Musa السلام, heard is a language, Arabic or otherwise. Such a belief is a misguidance, because it entails likening Allah to the creatures, Allah is absolutely unlike the creations in his self, in his attributes, and in his actions. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the knowledge of the aqidah and the Islamic jurisprudence and make us steadfast to the right path. Ameen.